Hello. So what can we then say about our God? It's the beginning of a new year. And what I can say about God is that he is ever present, always the same. He never changes and he surely will not ever change. He has been gracious to us for the whole of 2022. He has been our guard. He has been our guide. He has been our protector. He has been our financial help, our Alpha and Omega. He has been our Jehovah Jireh, our provider. He has been our Jehovah Nisi, our Jehovah Shama, our Jehovah Goel, our Jehovah Tishkenu. He fights for us when we cannot fight for ourselves. He gives us strength in the midst of trials and tribulations. So this new year, I speak forth growth. I speak forth blessings. I speak forth healing. I speak forth and call forth abundance of blessings, prosperity, health, strength, and for us to rejuvenate, start uh, to reclick and recheck our life and let us bleed ourselves into a great and wonderful new year. 2023 is going to be fabulous, fantastic. Those dreams, aspirations, those goals, set them and they shall come to pass. Yes, not everything that we put our mind to, we are going to have. But just what we need it, it's going to happen. And not when we want it, but it's going to happen right on time. Just give yourself a little time. Remember to keep focus. Keep your chin up. Keep your head up. God is ever present. He said that he will never leave us, nor will he forsake us. He will let his light shine upon us. He will be gracious unto us. He will set his angels as guards over us to protect us in all our ways. Remember that God sees and he knows everything. I know in the scripture it says that, Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Why? Because God is the seer and doer of everything that happens in our life, whether it be good or whether it is evil. He says that the time and the seasons are all his. When persons try to undermine you, try to criticize you, try to pull you down, remember that their day is coming. For good follows good and bad follows bad. And know too that God is our avenger. He is our Jehovah Uzzah. He fights for us when we cannot fight for ourselves. He is our battle act. He's our mother, our father, our sister, our brother. He's everything to us. And no resting assuredly that there is nothing that is too impossible for us. Haven't he been good to us? Yes, he has. Like the songwriter says with C.C. Widens, all my life, God has been faithful. I can truly say that. And I know that you can say it too. All my life, he has been great. He has been so wonderful to me that we can continue to sing his praises, continue to, to glorify him and to bless his holy name because we know that if it had not been for God on our side, where would we be? And isn't that just something to give God thanks for in the new year, knowing that we can step out and fade in our high heels and walk in our coat suits and know that, hey, I'm stepping into 2023 and I know that God is happy going to bless me. He is great and marvelous and great blessings in store for us. Prosperity, health, and strength. That's my motto. Every day of my life, no matter what circumstance come, no matter what situation come, I know that God is with me and he will always be with me. Yes, he will. And he will also be with you too. It's, it's snowing outside. It's so wonderful. I'm ready to get out there and just bask in the snow. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's going to be so wonderful. But keep prayed up. This is your transformational ghost, Sarah Fernando. My prayer for you today. Dear God, may you elevate and escalate us to the place where you want us to be. Our destiny, our purpose, may it not be hindered. May your angels give guard over every circumstance and every situation that involves us. Dear Heavenly Father, we put our children in your hands. We put our finances in your hand. We put our jobs in your hand. We put our homes in your hands. We put our lives in your hands. We put our ministry in your hands. And we ask, dear God, that you will let men and women know. Touch not your anointing and do your prophet no harm. For your hands is on us at the Heavenly Father. We shall prosper in all our ways. We shall prosper in all things and all things are ours because you are God and you said that God that whatever we ask in your name, you will give it unto us. We give you glory. We give you praise. Thank you.
for tuning in. Merry Christmas and have a prosperous new year. See you next time.